guys. So we have made our trip here uh, to Columbus, Georgia, uh, which was the last major battle of the Civil War. Uh, and we're inside the Naval Museum here, uh, where there is seven of the ship's remains that are in this museum. And we're going to take a tour of them as well. One of them that you guys are familiar of uh, is that I did a green screen of is the CSS Chattahoochee. Uh, and all the issues that it encountered uh, during its time of being built uh, during the Civil War, as well as the mechanical issues uh, that it was having as well. Uh, there is also the CSS Jackson here, uh, and there's also a couple Union uh, ships here as well that we're going to take a tour of. Uh, and I just want to be, say thank you to Holly, uh, who is the director here, who is actually giving us permission to be able to film in here. Uh, so, big shout out to her as well for allowing us to share this uh, experience with everyone. And if you guys are ever in the Columbus area, make sure you guys come out here and pay them a visit. Uh, it's packed with a lot of great history. Um, yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Also, drop a comment in the comment section below if you like the video or even if you subscribe. Talk to you guys again soon. I got Puppy Junior! Oh, I get to keep it now? Okay. Here, baby. Do you want to walk way? with the camera and then walk around this talk this time? Yeah. Here, can you hold the book back? Can you hold the camera for a second so I can don't drop yeah. it? I don't want to die. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this actually is pretty cool, though. <laughs> All right, so we we'll walk over here. Uh, let me check this out. All right, so this is actually some of the remains of the CSS Chattahoochee after it was recovered. Uh, some of these pieces. Wow. It is crazy. Yeah. And then we'll walk over here because I think this is the other part of it, of the CSS Chattahoochee. Oh, I got this. Whoa, the thing is huge. We got a little photograph of the men. Hold on, Ginger. You still gotta go that way to see the Jackson inside. Look how big this boat is. Yeah. It smells old too. Alright, so right here uh, is the USS Hunchback. Uh, this is actually a crew photo of some of the men that was actually on that ship as well. Oh, I wonder if I can get them all. Uh, might be able to. It's really neat. Here's some more information. The CSS Chattahoochee. Um, this was the. So, you guys are always wondering. Uh, CSS uh, actually can stand for uh, Confederate State Ship. Uh, so, if you guys are not aware, that's what the CSS stands for. Uh, this is the CSS Confederate States Gun Ship, our gunboat Chattahoochee. Uh, here is some of the men. Um, Catsbury APR Jones. Uh, he is actually buried in New Life Oak Cemetery out there in Salem. Uh, and then there's the other two generals as well. Um, I'm not really sure where these other two are buried. I'll have to look more information up. Uh, but I do know uh, Lieutenant Catsbury APR Jones uh, is buried out there in Salem uh, in the New Life Oak Cemetery. Uh, and then these are some of the artifacts. Uh, that has been recovered uh, from these men as well. You got the sword um, and stuff like that. And then right behind us 
uh, is some of the artifacts that was recovered uh, from the Chattahoochee uh, ship. And then just kind of gives you a little bit more uh, information of the Chattahoochee artifact, the, the steam engine fixture. This piece was recovered from the engine room of the Chattahoochee, an originate yet functional piece of machinery. This is an example of what was produced at the Columbus Iron Works during the Civil War. Uh, so, and this is the town where General Wilson and his raiders uh, came through uh, and raided through on their way to Macon, Georgia. Now, at the same time that they were doing this raid, uh, they were not aware of the surrender of Robert E. Lee in the Northern Virginia Army. Uh, so, uh, we are in the town where Fort Benning is, the guy who is who Fort Benning is named after, he is buried here as well, um, as well as many other uh, generals throughout uh, the Civil War. Uh, General Coquit is buried out here as well. He was actually mortally wounded at the Chickamauga battle. Um, now, this is one of the ones that I'm actually happy and very excited to be able to see. This big ship right here is the CSS Jackson. Oh, oh my goodness. This is the CSS Jackson. This is actually uh, one of the main ships that I've always wanted to be able to see. Um, I've done a lot of research on the CSS Jackson, um, but you can just imagine it is relatively outstandingly big. Um, CSS Jackson uh, was actually launched into the waters of the Chattahoochee River on December 2nd, 1864. Uh, through Bertley finished by spring of 1865, the ship had no crew when General James H. Wilson and his raiders uh, captured Columbus April 16th, 1865. The Jackson was grounded on a sandbar and burned to the waterline and, and sank. Uh, and here's some information on Hornets King. Uh, he was born a slave of African, European, and Native American ancestors in South Carolina. Uh, King moved with his owner John Good Godwin, a contractor to Gird, Alabama, a suburb of Columbus. It was from when from Godwin and that King received instruction in bridge con construction and instructed that King's intellect developed in an extraordinary high degree. The Alabama State Legislature freed King on Godwin's petition in 1846. So that is, uh, and then we can go up here, there's a little bit more information here. That's a really big ship. Yeah, I'd say so. Come on, Ginger. You could probably get the whole ship from here. Yeah, I would say so. That is huge. And they can go downstairs too. Not too far. I don't, I don't think we want you to get too close to it. You know, the naval design. Yeah, because see, they got the rope right here. So it's just, I think it's just for the workers. Oh. This is the naval design. So if you look right here now, that's the whole CSS Jackson. And then right behind me uh, is the second national Confederate flag. This is the flag that was flown at the top of CSS Jackson. 
This flag was is a replica of the second national boat ensign found aboard the Jackson. The, batter, the badly tattered original housed at the Museum of the Confederacy at Richmond, Virginia. So the original one uh, is actually in the Confeder Confederacy Museum in Richmond, Virginia. And I'm hoping that one day I can travel to Virginia and see some of the history there. Uh, pay my respects to Stonewall Jackson, uh, Jeff Stewart, Jefferson Davis, Robert E. Lee. Uh, and all those other great generals too that fought during the Civil War. Well, we got a little picture right here on the wall. This is the original picture of the CSS Jackson, as well as the painting of what the ship may have looked like. That is a lot of iron. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, the CSS Jackson Gallery is dedicated in the memory of James W. Woodruff, whose tireless efforts made the recovery of the ship possible. I think you can go down there, hon. Where? There was an open uh, spot down there by the stairs to walk down. It's the long right down there, too. But look, the stairs are open right there. It's just roped around the ship. Oh. What is that down there? I think you can walk down there. Remember when we were down there? Yeah. Down that way where the 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 uh, CSS chat is. Oh, okay. I believe you can. No, I think it's right here. See this thing glass thing? Okay. Just make a left. Yeah, they're just keeping it blocked off so they can work on it, I guess. That's really, really cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It makes you wonder how long it took them to recover this ship. I know. Isn't that yeah, see right here? Okay. That cannon? Yeah. Was the one that was actually on the ship. Wow. Fire. Ain't that something? Ooh. It's actually pretty cool to have pictures like that, you know? Goes right here too. This is really cool. That little cards. Mm hmm. Check that out. A little boat or a little paper. Oh wow. Then you had like the CSS uh, Missouri right there. Rep got it. James H. Warner. So it must be the captain. That's really cool. Jackson, Columbus builds an ironclad. Lieutenant Augustus, Augustus McLaren. And that's the dimensions right there. So it was, length was about 220 inches. They had 200 men on this, on this ship. That was really cool. Mm-hmm. This thing's huge. Why not? 
Don't worry, I got you. Huh? I got you. Uh, no. I'm the cumber one. Huh. Nothing. Here is George <laughs> Paul. So this is just some of those letters. Hey, look, Saint Simon, right? Saint Simon, Georgia. Is it? See? They go through Saint Simon? Yeah, a little saga. And then these are just some of the letters. These are just basically letters that they that they've been able to recover or made modifications to. You know. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Just. A, See this one right here, 1863, we left New York. So they were up in New York somewhere. Is it big enough? Yeah. Is it big enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We got a little video playing. Look how it is. You know what? You know what? It also. I'm gonna look that up too to see exactly let's see exactly how long it actually took them to to build the Yeah. Look at me. I can imagine it be on a ship like this? No. I think I'd be scared. <laughs> I don't know. It looks like it would be pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. What do you think, babe? With all that metal. Oh, yeah. Pull, pull, fight comes on. Oh, look. The yeah. To hold it. There's the iron. Yeah. You want to say something about cotton? I'm going to really cool. So, what do you think of it, babe? I like it. It's really big and very interesting. <laughs> Listen to you. <laughs> oh yeah. I do want to tell you guys we are after this we are going to be driving two hours away uh, and we're going to pay respects to General Longstreet. Uh, so stay tuned for that as well. We're actually going to place uh, a gift for him and his wife on their grave uh, just to Give them a little Christmas uh, because we we love our generals on both sides, Confederate Union. It really doesn't matter. We we celebrate them both. We honor them both. Um, they're all. We don't look at them as different people. Uh, we look at them all as Americans, uh, and we we support them in any decisions that they have done. Uh, we just want to be able to learn from it so we can teach everyone the true history of the Civil War and exactly what caused the Civil War to occur and why it took so long to draw out even after Robert E. Lee's surrender. It lasted another 15, 16 months until out there in Oklahoma where Stan Waddy of the Cherokee Brave eventually surrendered. Uh, and that is also where he's buried as well as Chief John Ross. If you guys are not familiar, John Ross also helped the Cherokee Nation over here at New Echota. Uh, so I do have that video as well. Went out to New Echota, great place, great history. I'm gonna go see this big pen. And then you got a little bit of a moral of some of the paintings. Gives you a little bit more insight of the boats here. Um, as well as other ships. There was a lot of different ships. Um, there was uh, CSS Tennessee, which I think they were created out there at the Shelby Iron Works, which, which was uh, actually 
destroyed and burned uh, by a group that was branched out by General uh, Wilson when they began their campaign through uh, central Alabama. Uh, but this this kind of gives you an idea. Some of the Union ships you have the see are the USS uh, Red Rover, which was a hospital ship. Uh, the USS Queen of the West, Mortal Raft, Mortal sh Shooter, USS a Axon, a Iski, USS Chakal, which is an Indian, a Native American tribe uh, that a actually eventually, which, um, now that we mention it, Choctaw uh, is actually one of the uh, tribes uh, that actually eventually joined uh, the Confederacy uh, with Stan Wadi uh, in the Cherokee Nation. It was it was Cherokee Nation, Choctaw, uh, and uh, the Seminoles. Uh, and there's one other one, but I'll, I'll look more information on that. But it was a group of five uh, Native American tribes that formed what was known as the Cherokee Break. Uh, which ultimately went against the uh, Union. That's that Chattahoochee that I was really excited to see. Yeah, it's really neat. All right, now we're going to take it to the second part. So we'll start down here and work our way. say that there is a special treat for you guys when we do go out to um, to the cemetery to pay our respects to General uh, Longstreet. Um, if you guys are not, if you guys are familiar, uh, or uh, if you guys are familiar with the name Cooper Scott, now if you're not, then I guess you guys are in for a treat. I'm not going to release any more information than that. Uh, I'm going to wait until we get to the cemetery, but it's going to be a eye opener and a very surprise. Um, moment for me to be able to share that to you guys. Uh, and we're going to continue walking uh, through the cemetery or the um, museum. We have a, yeah, have water to reserve it. Is that a spoon? That's nice, man. Don't it though. They are, they're having to keep it in here with this stuff to try to preserve it. I wonder what that is. An electro. Um, I think that's what they're using to preserve the artifact. You know? Hey, look. A picture of Cuba. I don't know. There's a picture of Cuba. What is it? Huh? I don't know that. Huh? That's pretty cool. Hmm. See, there's the flags. That was talking about the flag room. Oh, okay. So you got some more of the history of the Civil War Navy. Right here, the Confederates had 130 ships. So the Confederate had 130 ships, and then the Union had 690. <sighs> Big number. 
Yeah, that's it. Ugh. But they also had a little bit more financial things that they could do as well, you know? Mm-hmm. See, Lincoln's back story. There's a picture of Lincoln. See? Oh, yeah, I read about this. Uh, General General Will um, General Winfield Scott, who was a hero from the Mexican War, uh, actually recommended this plan to President Lincoln. It's called the uh, Anaconda Plan. So what he was trying to do is go around each of the major parts of the Confederacy, and you know, an anaconda, you know, they wrap themselves around their victims and you know suffocate them. So that was his ultimate plan was to try to suffocate. Uh, the Confederacy, ultimately what's giving it the name Anaconda Effect, or the Anaconda Plan. He's trying to go around the Confederacy and eventually strangle them to the point of suffocation. Wow, I did not know that. Uh, Ooh, look at that. That is... Oh my goodness, that's big. That is a big one. That is huge. It's a real one too, if you can tell because there's all the hair sure, in here. Sure is. The war flags at sea. Pretty cool. Yeah. Look at that. Yep. So this right here is the mo this is the handsome Catsbury RP AP R Jones uh, in his uniform as well as his sword. Uh, he was actually one of the commanders of the uh, CSS Chattahoochee. Uh, and he's also buried out there in Salem. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, this is a old piece of flag, uh, which came off of right here. USS Gallen, Galilee. Fort Walker in Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, Confederate first flag. So, this one was the first Confederate flag that was actually located on Hilton Head Island of South Carolina at That's Fort Wal Fort Walker. No, not that fort with the 54. Different one. Yeah, I know. That's right over there in South Carolina. Technically yeah. Technically right next. Yeah. Hey, how about that? 1862 U.S. Navy ensign. ensign. So that one's up there. Good grief. I gotta get this one. Those things are humongous. You had to back out. Oh, yeah. And then you got the Civil War history behind you. <laughs> this is like information all around. Yeah, I know, right? It's like a history buff. Definitely tells you a lot. Yeah, it does. I like how they do it. Like the, each, that's a pretty cool picture. But one of the battles of the Ironclads. Oh, wow. National song, or the North Carolina song, the Alabama. And then see this flag, where was this? This one was recovered at Fort St. Philip, which was the Confederate First National. Uh, this one right here, this flag right here to my left is from Fort Jackson. And then these are the forts that are actually located in New Orleans. So. Make sure you guys go out there and check that stuff out. I'm hoping that I can get out there too. It's just, you know, uh, makes it a little challenging sometimes uh, making these trips and trying to plan these trips as well as getting out there with a lot of time and effort. And, but once you do get out there, it's, it's, it's wonderful. You get to see a lot of history. Uh, just like this right here, the USS Blackhawk. So this is this this flag right here with the anchor on it uh, is from one of the, the Union ships, um, and then this is another Union ship, Sacco. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, and then that first Confederate national flag was recovered at Fort Henry in Tennessee. Now, interesting fact though. 
sadly, um, you cannot visit Fort Henry. Uh, it is sad, but you can't. Uh, if you ever go out to Fort Donaldson, you'll know up the road a little bit, there is a marker that talks about Fort, Hen Fort Henry. Uh, it was actually later um, flooded uh, once they opened up the dam. Uh, it actually flooded the fort, so all you have left uh, is a historical marker. Uh, but this big flag right here is off of the CSS Atlanta in Savannah and was located around the Savannah, Georgia area. This is the second Confederate, or the second. They found this flag over by Savannah? Savannah area. Wow. That's how big they used to make those? Yeah. That would take forever. The girls must have put together. You would think so, yeah. This is a replica of their hands hurt, didn't they? The replica of the CSS Atlanta, see? It would go that, it would be right there on the back. It was like their battle flag. Oh, okay. All right, I got you. That's what it was. Okay. Now you see, this is. Wow. This is. You remember this? This is the Battle of Mobile Bay. Mobile Bay, yeah. Which okay. is right there, out there in the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Um, that is also. Remember that one general. This is Mobile Bay. Yeah. Whoa. Um, That's that fort. Yeah. Uh, which one is that? That's the one we were on. Yes. Um, but I'm trying to think. Is it Fort Gaines or is it Fort Morgan? Um, it looks like it's four games. Looks like it. Um, because this guy right here, David G. Farragut, mm -hmm. Farragut uh, he actually had the infamous words, damn the torpedoes. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's what that looked like. Yeah, that's a, that would, that's a replica of what the battle scene looked like. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, oh, look at these pictures of these guys. Huh? Pictures. That's, that's a little oh, that's kid. A, huh? That's a little boy. Look at that. Yeah. See, that's the Union ship, and that was the Alabama. Remember, we read about the Alabama's getting sunk. Yeah. After it destroyed so many ships, it was eventually defeated. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'm probably going to do a video on some of these ships and give you guys a little bit more backstory. Because there's so many ships on both sides. Um, there's 130 of the Confederate ships and then like 690 of the Union. So um, I'll do some of the Union. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all 690. Yeah. Um, I, that, I'll just be on my computer on, on the day people. <laughs> but I mean, it would be great history to learn. Is their mail? Yeah, that's how they got their mail. This is another ship. Some more history. I guess this is white jacket. So these are the blood stains. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. See, blood stained vest of the U.S. Navy Assistant Surgeon John T. Luck. So this was the surgeon on the ship that actually had still blood stains on the ship. It's pretty cool. Oh my. All right, so let's see what these lights and this up. All right, so this one is the USS Water Witch. Um, and it was located in, in Osbar Sound near Savannah on the night of June 3rd, 1864. And it's that one right there. And then that, Get out. And then that, that second national Confederate flag was right here at Fort Caswell in Wilmington, North Carolina. So both of these were found relatively close to the ocean, um, which makes you know, a lot of sense since these were a lot of these boats. This one's probably going to be the oldest that I've seen. Ooh wee been around a block of times. I'd say so. The CSS Tennessee. They carried the Confederate Second National flag. Um, 
ironclad ship built in Salem, Alabama in 1863 through 1864. Why does that thing keep cracking over there? Uh, it fought in the Battle of Mobile Bay. Um, in the Battle of Mobile Bay, Albert, A Abram, Franklin Buck Buckhannon. So that's his flag as well. The CSS flew this. These flags were captured at Mobile Bay. Oh yeah? Yeah. It's all blue. I know. They did not like pictures, I'm assuming? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> but that was for, where was that? Oh, look at this, That was in Pensacola. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Look at that. We'll walk through it, and that's the USS Hartford. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at that. Behind you. Check it out. You, sailor uniforms. Oh, man, I'm so glad you guys. I actually convinced you to come in. I am, too. This is really, really cool, different. Yeah. Huh? The, yeah, this is... This is really different. Look at how different they look. These it's uniforms. It's different from today's time. Yeah, it is definitely. I mean, if you really look at like the guns too, they are different from the time. And each of these no, see each of these guns have numbers so that kind of tell you. Oh yeah. Which one it is? You see, there's the cartridge bag, our box. That the Union Navy and I'm trying to go out ways. So that's pretty cool. Ain't that something? We'll go over there in a second, okay? Okay. Oh, look, the big flag over there, the CSS Arkansas. Ooh. Flag. Okay, yeah, 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 close up of that one. Yeah, it's beautiful. All of this is beautiful, though. Yeah, it's very, huh? very interesting. Here's this. I think this is one of the really uh, What is it? This is the USS Hartford. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's one of their little rescue boats when it sunk. They had a boat to, to uh, you know, like the Titanic and all them have. Yeah, they put it on the side. Yeah, it is. Look, it just kind of looks like it. Okay. Yeah. I thought something. <laughs> that's Dollahan boat Hotswire. It was actually named after a general. That's why that cannon has that name. So it was named after. A, a, I believe that was cannonball. That's a different looking cannon. Huh? That's different looking, ain't it? Yeah, look at the cannonball. That's a 15 inch cannonball. They shot those. Yeah. What? There ain't no way. I would. I would 15 inch cannonball. Oh my god. What? I, that might hurt. <laughs> yeah, it's, I'd say so. That's probably uh, not very really comforting. The, uh, USS and CSS Water Witch. Mm -hmm. I like how they put the little people on it too. Kind of yeah. give you a little bit of a bite. That is cute. I do like that. Here looks like a little book. Yeah. Mm, book. Then you got the Mary Bowen, the Confederate blockade runner. Mm. Is that teeth that they found? Hey. Whoa! Are you serious? Yeah. Teeth? Yeah. Look at the... Is that grass or peak? Uh, <laughs> Needles? Something. I guess so. Look at the plates and stuff that they had on the ship. I got something. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I got it. I'm going to... I got you, hon. Hello, Ginger. You learning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the artillery. And then the helmet, or the hat. That's really neat. Day on deck. That's what it looked like on deck? Yeah. 
I guess you go in there and then back the way it actually. I'm assuming so. CSS for Junior. This one had 300 officers and men on it. Wow. Oh, wow, look. That's a picture of what happened of the destruction of Virginia on the Hampton Road. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, yeah, right here. It makes sense. Battle of Hampton Road. So. Battle of Hampton Road occurred on March 8, 1862. The Confederate ironclad ram Virginia under flag officer Franklin Buchanan steamed into Hampton Road and assaulted the Union blockade fleet. That's actually pretty cool. Here's a picture of it too. That's the flag officer Franklin Buchanan. Oh look, Catsby. RPR Jones was on that one as well. Remember, he was on Chattahoochee. Mm hmm So he, he, he was a commander of a few of them. And you have a union ship right next to it. The USS Monitor. Hmm. Which had 47 officers and men, so it was probably a smaller one. From the ocean floor. Get too close to it. <laughs> Try to get a side view so I can get some light on it. That came off the ocean floor. Yeah. Wow. See? That is neat. This is what the CSS or the USS Monitor looked like. It's crazy. You can see out there in the ocean. That's them diving down and finding that stuff. Right here, the graveyard of the Atlantic, USS, USS Monitor, that is crazy. There they were out, right here. Right around the Cape Herodos, North Carolina, off the coast. Wow, that's crazy. This one's talking about the capture of the Arkansas flag because that's the uh, CSS Arkansas right there. Yeah. I know, right? Johnson's Tobacco and Cotton Warehouse of Shipping. <laughs> That's funny. I bet something. Well, you can go inside the ship for a second. Ginger, you want to go inside a ship? Cool. Huh? Why is it so wet? It's wood. It's wood. 
Well, that's not wood. That's part of this thing. Oh, that's thing. cool. Gunship. Wow. Please do not climb in gunboat. <laughs> I got something. See, that's that picture. Okay. This is actually pretty cool. Could you just imagine trying to pull that? <laughs> no. Right, you had to take like at least seven or eight guys to have to do that, I'm sure. Pretty sure. They pull that thing? Yeah. Room. Yeah. They have a thing here that you can pay like $250 or whatever. Mm hmm. Or they'll fire one of those big cannons. Oh really? Oh, they do that here? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's like out in one of the fields. Yeah. You pay like two fifty for it. Wow. I'd like to see that one day. Yeah. See, they're doing it right there. What is it? Watch. They do. They do it right here. See them? Give me a picture again. One of those big. Oh, okay, I remember saying that with you that one time. Yeah. Alright. Alright, you guys, so we're going to get ready to walk the shore or walk aboard the USS Park And then they got a couple. Uh, and this is a replica of the uh, USS Harper. That's actually pretty cool. Some of the food and stuff that we had. Soldier over there. That's how they slept within the little hammocks. Look at that. How about that? Hmm? Oh, they slept in there. There's the swords that they would put in white. They look so real. Don't they? I got frightened to whenever I saw like that. I really on top of the ship. They like really that. have a kitchen or a dining room like this. That looks just, pretty cool. Look at this. Ooh, nice. Living light. Yeah. I like, I like walking on this too because it's got that old feeling, you know. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. This must be the captain's quarters. Yeah, yeah I would assume so. Definitely. Oh, How fancy, fancy. After this, we just walk back up the stairs to the gift shop area. Is it upstairs? Yeah. Okay, it's over there, yeah. See it right over there in that corner. Okay. Right. Alright, you guys. So we're going to go ahead and conclude our trip here at the Naval Museum in Columbus. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Also, check me out on Facebook. Love you guys and talk to you.